Hello guys and welcome to this 3D Workshop training tutorial and in this lesson we're going to be exploring how to create a clay render within Maya. Here I've got this scene of a dragon and we need to create a, ren a clay render to help show off the model in all its glory. So the best way to do that is to first select all the objects in the scene and create a new render layer by selecting this button here. We're then going to name that render layer Clay Render. This way we can easily manage all our objects in the scene and, re and save the render shaders and things like that in an easily manage manageable way. We're then going to add a Lambert, a Lambert shader, to shader to the objects to give, to give a nice clay look. So we'll select all the objects in the scene, minus the lights, and assign the Lambert shader by right clicking going right clicking holding and pressing assign shader to objects. Next I'm going to find a camera angle I like such as this one here and then I'm going to store that camera angle so that we can refer back to it whenever we need to by going into view bookmarks edit bookmarks and going new bookmark and then renaming it to clay camera next we need to make some changes to our to our settings to allow the compu the computer to generate the clay render First, we're going to select this button here to go into our camera's attributes and we're going to scroll down and go to the environment colour, background colour here. And we're going to change it to maybe a nice soft blue colour or it could be maybe a light brown or something like that, whatever really it's up to you as long as it's a relatively light colour. Next, we're going to go into our render settings. Make sure we're using Mental Ray. We're going to increase the number of uh, ray, traces, uh, ray tracing uh, quality between generally 1 and 2, or in this case, maybe 3. I'm also going to turn Final Gather on just by selecting this button here under the Features tab. Next we are going to select one of our lights. It doesn't matter which light. I've got three lights at the moment but you only, you only really need one light. In this case I've got a directional light. And I'm going to turn on Depth Map Shadows I'm going to crank up the resolution right up to 4000. And then I'm going to also increase the filter size of the shadows to say 16 to help smooth out the shadows and make sure there's less artifacts. And then I'm going to return to that cl uh, that camera bookmark that we've got. And I'm going to render out the clay render. But before I do that, I'm just going to pause the video so that you don't have to wait for the render. Here we are back with the fully uh, the rendered clay. And there's still a few things we need to do to make this a proper clay render. First, we're going to save this image. I'm going to save it as a PNG. Just delete these previous ones. Or maybe not. I'll call this clay render and then 
what we need to do is make an ambient occlusion pass to help bring out some of those shadows and those tight those tight um, seams and things like that and just make the image pop in general so to do that we're going to select the objects again, this time we don't need to select the lights and we're going to create another render layer and we're going to call it AO layer We are then going to right click on the layer, go to attributes, presets, occlusion, that will make everything turn black, and then we need to go to output colors, select that little arrow there, and we need to turn the sample samples up to say 64, and this will make our ambient occlusion pass um, have very few artifacts and just look really good. So let's render this out again. So I'm just going to pause the video and then you'll see how the ambient occlusion looks. So here we are with our ambient occlusion pass which we've just rendered out. Now it's just a matter of saving that out. AO Render. And remember to save them as a uh, file format that supports an alpha, such as a PNG or TIFF. Hit save. Now we're going to open up Photoshop. Open up the images by selecting our passes. AO, render, and clay render. We're going to open them up. We're then going to select our ambient occlusion pass, can copy it, control, control shift V to paste it, and then we're just going to multiply that over the top, turn its intensity so down to about 70, so it's not so harsh. We're going to create, and then we're just going to create a back, background so color say this nice dark grey and apply it so it looks something like this and there you go, you've got a really simple clay render to show off your model hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and I would love to hear your comments and feedbacks and that's about it, thanks